Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of solving one step, one variable equations and inequalities. This is standard 6.10a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 18 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Holly, she bought a magazine subscription for $27 for the year. And they've already started to put that into a strip diagram for us. That's pretty nice. And she wants to find the price P, I have all those P's down at the bottom, of each month. Now, even if for whatever reason you couldn't remember there were 12 months in a year, they went ahead and drew that out for you. So you've got 12 different P's down here, one representing each month right and so what we are looking for is how we can find the, the P which is just one month each month subscription well this is going to be setting up a pretty simple inequality or equation in this case we are going to be using an equation because we're looking for an exact answer we're not looking for something that's greater than or less than so P is really what we're looking for so that's going to be our monthly price. How do we find our monthly price? Well, we know that it's $27 for the year, right? So what we would do is we would take the year and then divide it by 12. Because there's 12 months in a year, you assume that every single month is the exact same cause they split it up evenly. So since we know what that Y is, we can say it's 27 divided by 12. Or if you want to do it a little bit more traditionally, you can do 27. You can write it horizontally like this. But remember in sixth grade, we're using fractional notation here. This fraction, this improper fraction of 27 twelfths is the exact same thing as 27 divided by 12. It's a different way to, to write division. So that's going to give us our answer, 27 divided by 12, which is something we can do. So let's just divide 12 into 27. Because we're looking for the actual solution here. We're not looking for uh, a, an equation or inequality to represent the solution. We need the actual number. So 12 goes into 27 two times. So that's going to be 24. That's 3. So remember our long division. All right, we can add a decimal and a 0. We're not going to really do remainders. Not in 6th grade. So 12 goes into 30 twice again. And you can just keep adding a zero after this decimal as long as you want to. But I do not believe it's going to be six. We're going to need to do it many more times because we've just got 12 into 60. And that's going to be five. So $2.25. And if you really wanted to, you can multiply this back by 12. But you would get 27 dollars so that's going to be our answer is this 225 which makes sense if you take your 225 and you just write that 12 different times add all that up repeated addition it is going to get you your 27 dollars so how do we get some of these other answers because it's always interesting to see how we got some of these incorrect answer choices we'll take a look at this 39 i bet you can figure out how they got that 39 you take your 27 and you take your 12 months, add them together. Number one thing students do when they're not sure of what to do is they take all the numbers they can find and they add. Even though the number 12 doesn't show up there, you can count the 12 piece. And guess what you're going to get? 39. Well, we're not dividing. If adding doesn't work, guess what you can do? You can multiply. 27 times 12. Guess what you're going to get? 324, which makes zero sense. How could the entire year cost $27, yet each month cost $324? And it's the same thing with this 39. How could the entire year cost 27 bucks, but each month cost $39? That doesn't make any sense. And then this J2250, I've got no idea how they got that with the 27 and 12. If you can figure that out, put the answer in the comments. I'd appreciate that. But the answer is G225.